even though I can't stand Fa Falcon. It's not that I can't stand Falcon. I think he was a lot less um, tolerable. Oh, before. he changed it up. He took away your matchup and came oh. out with a, uh, a different one. He juked everybody. So we kept the Falcon, <laughs> but we lost the, the ZSS. Yeah, okay. that's the unfortunate part for you because you're like saying, oh, I, I hate Captain Falcon. And that's know. the part that stays. And now we have a Luigi on the screen, too. And, uh, yeah, that's everybody's favorite character, right? Yeah, I don't hate Falcon. Oh, oh Luigi's OP as shit. You know, that was definitely uh, elegant. Uh, how, how dare you curse on the microphone? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Uh, he Production. framed me. <laughs> elegant framed me to get me in trouble. <laughs> so, of course, let's all get the resident uh, Luigi specialist in Southern California, one of the best Luigi's in the world, of course. So. Yup. It, it must feel nice to... Oh, yeah, that's dead. It must feel nice to be able to say, hey, I'm pushing the meta for this character that everyone thinks is bad. Because I, I just don't agree when people say that Luigi is, like, bottom 15 or whatever uh -huh. I heard. That's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, how can the character with that much pop have uh, that, you know, be that low? Oh, my God, what is happening? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, that's definitely not what you want to do there. You're trying to go for some swanky stuff. Didn't quite yeah. work out. And yeah. Carney Asada is trying to make the meat happen off stage and just dive, you know, oh my god, that's it again. <laughs> he's trying to get the sauce. He's trying to get the sauce and the meat. It's he, just not working out. He's like feeling that fortune favors the daring and just down there and off stage left and right. And maybe not the way to go, but, Ooh. you know, as far as battling back into the game, he started off pretty badly. Uh, you know, Moblin came out strong, and uh, I guess the Luigi Blender, oh, he didn't get the follow up. I was to say, the Luigi Blender is about to start, and he was about to be pulling away, but 71% is not a bad deficit. No, given how the first stock went. Especially like with how heavy that Captain Falcon is, like he, he can make some comebacks pretty real here. Right, and well the benefit being that he's out of that, you know, really crazy zero to death scenario uh, mm. percentage as well. That's so true. you don't really have to play too anti grab in this in this uh, scenario if you're Captain Falcon. I, I do think like speaking of grabs, I, I actually think that having that tether is gonna be a bit of a problem. I mean if it has if he uses it properly here. And I saw him go for the Zare a little earlier, too, before uh, Karni Asada SD'd. So he clearly is trying to use it in some capacity. Yeah, I think, you know, Karni Asada would do Woo! well to get some shield because you get a lot of these rogue Luigi missiles coming out from, uh, you know, from Moblin. Oh, my God, In the yeah. neutral. And, oh, he's going deep for the recovery. Yeah. But a good back here, and all of a sudden, Karni Asada's cooking, and he's got the lead. Back here, number two. Backer number two taking the second stock. Yeah, it's the people's fist, man. You got like the elbow for the forward smash and the back air is just the backhand. That's true, that's true. And the knee doesn't even need any introduction. Speaking of people's in, people's uh, elbows, there's yeah. there's one off stage. And uh, that's uh, a, yeah, that's, that's a it. Death. So after a promising start for Moblin, looks like he got a little bit of the spaghettis in. I think okay, I think what happened was that Carne Asada spilled his Carne Asada like all over the place. Yeah, the first. marinade got out is yeah, a little he, too early. Yeah, he didn't let it simmer long enough <laughs> and you know he, he dropped it there, but then he picked it all back up and he's like, hey, you know what, five second rule. I'm good. <laughs> so Oh my god, that's uh, I got a little sick right there. Can you imagine <laughs> having marinated carne asada and dropping that and just be like five second roll like it's all wet and picked up? Whatever. You, you better know. have some clean floors, man. Oh oh yeah, definitely. And speaking of clean floors, you know, Luigi you know, with his uh, cleaning uh, cleaning supplies. Ah, uh, yes, you know, the appliances. Yeah, the appliances. Sure. So. Gotta have them. Gotta right. have them. Right, and so maybe he's going to be able to get some grabs and get some early percent combos in this I mean, the time. Man, the man has his own mansion. Right. He needs to have as many cleaning supplies as possible. Yeah, he's got his vacuum, you know, uh, the poltergeist going around. Oh, boy. I mean, I don't know why you put a plunger on it, man. It's a, it's, it's a little weird. I especially don't know why that plunger doesn't have any suction power uh -huh. because he should be able to zare and get back on stage right. like every other tether grab, but no. It, it's a plunger. I feel like the uh, you know the vacuum effect that King K. Rool has on his uh, special, you know, the cannonball yeah. and the sucks in. That should have been the grab for Luigi. What, was, what were they thinking? That would have been tight. That oh, speaking of early kills, there we go. Yeah. Moblin listening to Coach Lux. He's got it. He's smiling. He's cheesing. Good for him. That's really hard to do on Town & City, too, like to get that, that really early off-the-top kill. But Luigi... As we heard Elegant say, oh, oh he <laughs> dunked him right there, down uh, air. Yeah. He went for the double dunk that time. Before, we just kind of see him drop zone daring. This time, he went for the double jump dare, too, so that the first one doesn't work. I mean, He's going to go for the second one. Captain Falcons can't breathe if they're not daring you. <laughs> That's just how it is. Okay, nice down B. Oh. He's got that down B in neutral, a little dash attack. Kind of in unconventional, but you know, if it works, it works. Right, right, right. He's still doing it. Still, and I'm wondering if uh, Carne Asada is going to be adapting to that anytime soon. Okay. Yeah, it's interesting. He's using you know the, the cyclone as a combo breaker or an air dodge instead of the you know the famous nair that Luigi's always throw out in those situations. Yeah. Stage spike though, Moblin coming yeah. out swinging. Yeah, that, that was a butt kicking right there. That, that might have been a little ad adaptation because we saw the double dunk last time. It's like, oh, I'm not gonna let you do that. Let me up air to recover. Right. And oh, he misses into the stuck. stage. <laughs> RNGY. <laughs> 
I, I thought that was only something that could happen off of a misfire. That was a misfire, though, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a misfire. Mm. Yeah, it's a little hard to tell, you know, from a commentary standpoint. I don't, you know, we don't have game sound. Uh, and he was so close to the to the screen. He was so right. close to the ledge, too. And it, it's fortunate that it happened in that scenario because if Carney Asada had, you know, a little time to recognize the situation, that would have been enough time to... Another dare. You know, back, or dare, yeah, back here, you know, something other than, like, the uh, down tilt that he did. Yeah, but hey, we take the... Right. Punish oh. is a punish, but right now... Things looking Moblin's way, a complete reversal of the first game, looking uh, you know coming in pretty strong. Mm, yeah, very true. Look, oh, there we go. Yeah. I like how he's able to land right on the platform immediately after. That's a really interesting interaction on this stage. Oh, oh, follow him on the platform. A little trouble has to get off. He's in recovering, and yeah, oh. Carney Asano's game plan is I'm gonna down air off stage for sure. That and we got a DBZ. Oh, I thought he died off the top. Wow. <laughs> I, I was gonna say Carney Asano could have gotten in so much trouble there when he was recovering, but uh, you know. That was about to be really salty because he was like at 65 when he got hit by that move. It's like, oh my god, did he just die? <laughs> like, but it was it, it was Moblin that died. <laughs> We're all good. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, there's that punish. Oh, wasn't able to get the grab though. I feel like if he just had a turnaround instead of the, the dash grab, he would have gotten a grab. Oh, and there's a whiff. Oh my god, so, Captain Falcon's grab. Why? <laughs> so tall, so muscular. And so uh, tiny hitbox and uh, whipping a line down opponent. Yeah. He planked. Oh, oh yeah, you dead. You dead. They caught him with some recovery habits. Got the down air, and you knew it was coming. He was going for it every time. He went for it every time. Yeah. And he got him anyway. Oh, boy. Hey, but hey. I mean, I guess that proves elegant wrong, huh? No, it doesn't prove elegant No, wrong. it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It's true. No, Luigi's still I mean, crazy strong. It doesn't matter. If, if you're off stage and you're getting dared, the 